Hello everybody and welcome to my fourth Microsoft Access tutorial and this tutorial is going to teach you how to create uh, table relationships um, using uh, the primary key. Um, so first thing I've done is I've just made it so that this table is just uh, customer ID and customer name um, and I'm going to create a new table um, in design view and this table is going to be uh, the sales so I'm still going to want the customer ID um, and that's going to be a long integer um, I'm not putting it as an auto number because I want to reference the, the other tables auto number that comes up um, but we're then going to have a sales ID um, and I do want this one to be an auto number um, and uh, let's then have the uh, sale date uh, sale date and we want that as date slash time um, and I'm just going to put it as a short date because I don't want to record the time in there um, and then uh, amount purchased and we'll have that as a number and a long integer um, so that's how many of something we purchased uh, and unit uh, price um, which is also going to be a uh, currency um, and I'm going to have it as just the pound sign again um, and then that's it that's all I'm going to put in the uh, sales section um, so then let's close that off and press save and put that sales uh, no primary teams are defined um, so click cancel I want to make sales ID my primary key because I want sales ID to be individual every time click off and yep yeah, and call that sales so now I've got two tables I've got one called customers uh, and one called sales so if I click in sales I'm just going to put a couple of these in. So I'm going to say, um, say Matt, say me. I'm going to fill in. Uh, I'm going to do. I've uh, bought something. So I'm going to put in one in here for my customer ID, so it matches up to me. My sales ID is filled in automatically. Uh, the sales date I'm going to put as today. Notice so I put that in quite quickly. If you want to put in today's date, this works in in uh, Excel and uh, Microsoft Access just press control and semicolon and it'll put in today's date for you um, amount purchased let's say I bought uh, three items and then the unit price can be five pounds um, there we go uh, let's put in another one for me um, let's put it in as uh, yesterday so, Gone on a bit of a shopping spree in the last couple of days. Yesterday I brought two uh, and they were ten pounds. Now let's say Reese has also done one. Uh, so put in two for Reese. Um, we'll put that in as today as well. Amount purchased five, but there were only one pound things. Um, and then let's put in one for Sarah. So she's she's customer number three. Um, and we'll put her in for for yesterday. Um, amount purchased ten, and they were fifty p each. So that's it. That's my table done. Close off. Um, you'll you'll notice that it's asking me to save the layout. That's just because I've changed the columns. Um, but say I put in another record now. Let's put in another one for Sarah um, for today. Uh, two things at ten pounds each, and I close that off. It's not prompting me to save it. So what Microsoft Access does is it's gonna kind of update the the record whenever you move out of it onto the next one. So that's just something to bear in mind. It's not actually you don't use this save. This is just saving the layout of the the actual table itself. In terms of actually saving the records. It, doesn't save them, they just save automatically whenever you move out of the, the record. Um, so now I've got two two um, two different uh, tables. Um, 
linked by the customer ID. Um, so if I then go into tools and relationships and I add both of these tables in here then it's got both of my tables showing and what I can do is I can join these tables together linking them by customer ID so create and then you'll notice I've got a little line going across here and this is just saying okay these two tables are joined by customer ID um, close that off and I do want to save changes to the layout of relationships now you notice when we go into customers it's now added little pluses along the side here um, and then if I press these it's going to show me my my sales IDs for um, for for that particular customer um, and if I click again and uh, it's just going to show me each of the ones for that customer um, so that's really useful um, makes it nice and easy so let's say we've got a new sale for Sarah just go on to Sarah click on here and then put it in for today and put in one and fifteen pounds um, and then that's it and then that's going to have actually updated it in the sales table it's going to put that one in um, um, you might be thinking why have we done this um, so there's a couple of reasons uh, the first reason is you're not instead of recording all of the information that you've got for a customer every time you do a sale you're only recording a number so that's going to save a lot of, of memory so say we've got loads more fields in here you're only going to have to store them once for each customer rather than for each sale um, so it saves a huge amount of memory um, which in turn will speed any of your your programs up the other reason is say um, so say Sarah changes her name gets married for example so she starts off as Sarah Smith and turns into uh, Sarah Turner uh, rather than updating it in every single one of the sales you only have to update it in the customer table um, and that's it and then it, it then it's essentially um, all of the sales will be be updated as well because you can just cross reference it um, so that is how you create uh, relationships between tables the the process of of doing this is called normalization um, which is a topic in itself really um, it, it, it involves creating the most optimal uh, structure for a database of, for how to to store your your information um, but the general idea of, of normalization is is if you're recording data multiple times in a table then you should really be splitting it out and putting it in a separate table so say I've got the unit prices here um, if I instead recorded what the actual product was um, and then had another table with products um, with the prices within it that would be a more efficient way um, of recording it because then if I change the price of one of the products um, then it's, it's going to be able to update it for all of them then um, so that's it for relationships I hope to catch you in the next tutorial